In this video, we'll explore an exciting way to combine AI technology with the power of Bubble to create a scalable passive income stream. By building and launching custom Bubble plugins using tools like ChatGPT, you can tap into the growing demand for innovative, affordable solutions and start earning monthly subscription revenue. I'm a full-time Bubble developer, and oftentimes as I'm building my app, I run into a problem, workflow, action, or event that I need that does not come out of the box with basic vanilla Bubble. If you click on the Plugins tab and then Add Plugins, sometimes a member of the community has solved that problem. For example, let's go Base64, and you see this very specific plugin, Base64 Hash and HMAC Encryptor. Now, if you needed to do that within your Bubble app, the quickest solution would be to purchase it outright or subscribe to the monthly plan. It's a bit cheaper. It's either $50 once or $5 per month. And then your problem would be solved. You can go on developing, build out other features, and you can leave the hard work to this plugin instead of your custom code. Just this basic plugin that does one single thing, 357 apps either have it installed as a monthly subscription or has purchased it outright. If we pretend that all of these apps are subscribing to it, that's 357 times five, $1,785 per month times that by 12. This one simple plugin is making over $21,000 per year. Now I know Bubble takes a cut and it's constantly changing. I think right now it's 30%. So this number is a bit lower, but the point is that plugins, especially in the Bubble ecosystem, can be a cash cow. Now, luckily we live in an age where you don't need to know anything about coding to build a custom plugin. We have one of the most powerful tools at our disposal and that is ChatGPT. Step one, what I would do is in the filters, let's uncheck free and we'll remove this entire search query. And it gives us a list of all the most popular plugins in the bubble marketplace. We have a search plugin, expanding animations, advanced rich text editor, Excel tables, Stripe marketplace APIs, Web3 and MetaMask, that's crypto, sign in with Apple. The list goes on and on. There's so many possibilities, but I would find one of these, maybe like the Pinterest style grid. I would subscribe to it in my own app, see how it works, and then see if I can recreate it, maybe add some features, or make it a cheaper monthly price. It looks like this brand Zero Code is doing just that. They're buying up all of the most popular plugins. They're getting a little bit of a monopoly here, so it's time for someone to take them down. But that would be a good way to do some market research. There's also the bubble form. You can monitor these forms and these new threads and see what users are asking for. What are they having trouble with when building their own apps? and then build a plugin to help them out. Personally, my favorite way is just when you're naturally building out your bubble apps, you're gonna run into some problems where there are no solutions. Solve the problem for yourself first, because I'm pretty sure there are other people in this world that will have the same problem as well. One problem I ran into when building is that when you make a call to the OpenAI API, the text you get back is in markdown format. And if I wanna post that text to a place like Medium, I need to convert that markdown into HTML code. So in this video, I'm gonna build a plugin that converts markdown into HTML, and I'm gonna use ChatGPT to do all the work for me. Okay, here I am on ChatGPT. I've made a bubble plugins project folder. Let me change it to ChatGPT Omni One. This is the best model that they have right now. And I'm gonna write, Show me how to build a bubble.io plugin that converts markdown text to HTML. Go through the process step by step in as small steps as possible, and then write the actual plugin code for me to test. Let's send that in. Okay, step one, we need to open the bubble plugin editor. Here I am on the bubble apps homepage. I'm clicking plugins on the left side, and then create plugin. 
It wants me to name it Markdown to HTML Converter. Let's click Create Plugin. Next, we need to fill out the plugin summary and descriptions. This plugin converts Markdown text to HTML. For the plugin categories, I'm just gonna select Productivity. There's not really a good category for this. Next, we need to go to the Actions tab, click Add Action, and name it something like Convert Markdown to HTML. Okay, I'm gonna click on Actions. We're gonna add a new action, name it what ChatGPT said, click OK. The action type is going to be either client side or server side. Server side is if you're gonna run it in the back end. Client side is if you're gonna run it in the browser. Let's go server side. We need to add an action property and we wanna call it markdown underscore text. So here's a new field, create new field. It's gonna be a dynamic value and the type of this is text. Next, we need to add dependencies. And yes, I do wanna use a node module to convert Markdown to HTML. There's already GitHub packages on the net that do just this. And all we have to do is take that code and format it into a way where Bubble users can use it as well. They're suggesting marked. So in the dependencies, I'm gonna type in marked at 4.2.12. At the bottom, there's a little checkbox. This action uses node modules. If I type that, I can paste this in, and there we go. Next, we need to write the server-side action code. And if I scroll down here, this is some example plugin code. I'm gonna copy this code and paste it in here. Let's remove that top part and the bottom part. On the settings tab, I'm gonna choose the plugin distribution license. We're gonna make it private just for testing. Then for the application to authorize, I'm gonna paste in one of my apps, click authorize, then submit a new version. We're gonna call this launch. The update type is major. No here, let's submit. Now if I refresh the page and go to the plugins tab, here we see markdown to HTML converter. I'm gonna install. So I'm gonna add a button to the page. Let's go click me. Let's center it, go 50 pixels from the top. And then I'm gonna have some text below it. Let's center that text as well. Maybe 50 pixels from the top. I'm gonna to make this page a workflow content type. I'm gonna grab a sample unique ID for a workflow. And then on this page, this text is gonna be, do a search for, I'm gonna go workflow. Now I'm just doing this to test the workflow in the back end. So if you're not following this, don't worry. So that first items, we're gonna go HTML. And then when this button is clicked, let's add a workflow. We want to custom events, schedule an API workflow. Let's make a new backend workflow called testing plugin. And the first action is gonna be an open AI text generation call. And we'll just do something simple here. Write a detailed article about the user's keyword. And then we'll just put apples for the keyword. We'll add a new action, the one that we created convert markdown to HTML. And that markdown text is gonna be the result of step one. It's body choices, first items, message content. It's gonna be whatever we get from that open AI API call. And then we're gonna make changes to a thing. We're gonna go do a search for that dummy workflow that we created. Let's go unique ID, that code, it's first item. And that workflow, we need to return HTML. And if I go back to ChatGPT, this is step seven. We are returning something called HTML output. In the plugins tab, let's go to return values, create new key. That key type is text. I'm gonna submit a new version. This is a minor update. I've refreshed the page and you get this notification that the plugin can be upgraded. So let's upgrade the plugin. And now in the backend workflow for the HTML, I can click result of step two, it's HTML output. Back on the test page, I'm gonna schedule the testing plugin API workflow for the current date and time. And if I preview this page, now I can click this button and the HTML code appears on the page. And it looks like it did pretty well here. Turn the markdown text into H1 tags. We have the paragraph tags, italics tags. Here's an H2. Now let's say no text or code appeared. Well then you could go to logs, you could go to server logs, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and copy the plugin's error code. I'd copy it like this, paste it into ChatGPT. 
This one appears to be a library issue. So I would follow these steps, fix the marked package in the dependencies, update the plugin with the new code, submit a new version, make it a minor update, describe it something like plugin fix, submit, refresh the page, and try it again until it works. When you're ready to launch, you can change it from private to commercial and then make it a subscription model. You can choose between two and 100 US dollars per month. Let's say five bucks a month. Launch it and then share it on the bubble form. And hopefully you can get thousands of visitors, hundreds of installs, and maybe a few purchases. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents, Check out the web app that I'm building live on this channel, youraiagent.com. We have everything from auto bloggers, Pinterest pin generators, blue sky bots, chat bots, email support agents, LinkedIn bots, Reddit bots. Do you want to heist your competitors' articles, social listening tools, timely news updates to your followers, Amazon affiliate bots? Tumblr posters, Twitter bots, and YouTube comment responders. I'll drop a link to your AI agent if you want to try this out in the description below. If the building plugins portion of this video interested you, and you also want to learn how to build apps with Bubble, check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.